Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video. So a lot of people want to know how to hold tiles and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and make this video. I've done similar videos to this before, but not with a 75 hero and uh, the uh, new uh, researches and stuff like that. So I'm going to go over it again. I'm going to go over some stats. I'm going to go over Pegasus and uh, tell you some stats you are going to want. Gems you're going to want. Uh, skill tree you can kind of uh, set up if you are... 75 hero and if you're not 75 hero you can set it up similar and uh, yeah hopefully this helps some of you guys out at least a little bit okay all right let's start with the uh, Pegasus um Pegasus works well especially if you are super high in research and uh, let's just go over the stats first uh, actually gems you want to use for uh, holding tiles I mean health and attack are your main things you want to go for and then attack debuff and uh, uh, health debuff of course but attack and health are your main things alright so gems you want to use your the best one right now to use is the uh, new year's health gem set this gives you a bonus to your attack and your health uh, and that's how much it gives with uh, I think almost full gem set research almost full so it's a pretty nice bonus for just that set. Um, the other ones are close. Um, I forget it. Frozen Health, I think, is the closest one to this. And then I forget the one before that. But this is the best one to go with if you have it. And, uh, of course, having super high research is going to help you on tiles. And having the biggest march is going to help you. But you don't necessarily need the biggest march to beat someone bigger than you. Uh, you just have to have it set up right and... Uh, you might be able to knock them off if you have enough but of course if you are super low in research you're probably not going to have a chance at beating a six million march if you're only sending like a two and a half that's probably not going to happen but a three and a half versus a five million yeah that that can happen I, I did that earlier but let's go ahead and look at the stats and uh, see what you kind of want to aim for All right. now of course this account has a ton of research so its stats are just through the roof all right so individual uh, attacks you're looking at 5700 for that and uh, all these are going to be pretty much the same for all that um, let's see troop attack you're looking at 19,000 unboosted so when you put on your uh, health boost attack boost warden banners all, all that stuff it's probably going to be around 23, 24 maybe and then you add in that other you're almost 30,000 in Pegasus and then uh, defense wise you've got I forget what is it uh, 2600 and 800 ish for each on Pegasus so that's a little over 3000 then you've got uh, 8000 defense so you're looking at around 11, 12,000 and then you add in all your altars and everything. Um, health, 15,000 unboosted, and then all this other stuff, which I'm not sure how to add all that in, but it would uh, add up to be quite a bit. And then individuals are uh, 2,600 health, and then a little over 800 for that one as well. So add like 3,000 something to that, and you've got around 18,000 health unboosted for uh, Pegasus. And that's kind of what you're aiming for, as high troop attack and as high troop health as you can possibly get. The individuals help, but that is not your main concern. Of course, if you can get it in there, that will help. And all this stuff comes from uh, Tier 5 research. Uh, most of it comes from Tier 5 research. Uh, let's see. Debuff-wise, for Pegasus, it's 1,500 attack debuff. This is your second most helpful stat. I mean, your third most helpful stat on a tile. So, as much as that, um, as much of that as you can get is uh, pretty helpful. Uh, health, health debuff on a tile is fourth most. Well, attack debuff and health debuff are kind of tied. It really depends who you're up against, what they've got on there. But these are your main two uh, debuffs. And of course, as much as you can get, of both of them are going to help you. Defense is not really all that helpful on a tile because you cannot put enough troops on it for defense to be a big factor. I mean if you could put 
three billion troops on a tile, yeah, defense would play a huge role. But we're only playing with like six million now. So defense does not help as much at low troop counts. The main thing that helps low troop counts is health. And of course, when you are using tier fours or tier fives, they work really well with health and attack. So you want to focus health and attack on a tile. And now when you're going for a tile, the best way to hold it is often sending a mix. You don't want to put one troop type on a tile because then all the person has to do is send the opposite and they'll take your hero. It doesn't really matter what you're in, they'll most, they'll most likely take your hero. Like if you put cavalry and they send infantry, they're most likely going to take it. And it doesn't even matter if you're core, they're probably going to win that one. If they don't take your hero, they'll, they'll, be, they'll surely be close. Um, let's see. Alright, so now cores you can use on a tile because a lot of people core. Um, for smaller people, it's even more helpful, but for bigger people that have a lot of research, it's not really helpful. I mean, it is helpful, but you don't really need it. As you can see, the stats are just already through the roof almost 30,000 attack unboosted on Pegasus. Uh, with cores, it's like nearly 40. Alright, let's look. Um, actually, whoops. Now cores you want to aim for, of course the new Wonder Core 9 I think, that that one works really well for a tile that I've seen, um, I'm not sure on the stats of that yet, have not built it, but can and uh, going to probably use that one soon, but uh, other ones you want to try to get, you don't want to use any of this, I mean this stuff would work if there was one troop type on there and that was the opposite but you don't want to try to hold a tile in single troop type cores. Some of these have really good debuffs and can hold it pretty well if it's a custom, but sending the uh, set bon I mean, regular set isn't really going to work out very well in most cases. Ice Legend is really awesome on a tile. Uh, regular Legend works just as well too, Black Friday Legend. Uh, none of these you want to send, like Isor and all that. That's one troop type stuff. Atlas works really well, especially if you got high research, because it, it's just through the roof on that as well. And uh, regular legend there. What else do we got? We got Black Friday, Atlas, that works. Lady Justice works really well. It's got a lot of health and debuff and attack. Yeah, let's see. Regular Atlas, maybe. I mean, it really depends who you're against. Uh, but yeah, that, you guys get the, you guys get the point. Wonder cores, stuff like that, works really well if you guys are going to core for tiles. But if you guys are high enough in research, Pegasus will work just fine for uh, most cases. Uh, a lot of times you'll come across somebody cored and you'll have to core up to beat them. But uh, a situation. So if you guys do run across somebody, be sure you guys have a set of cores built and ready just in case you do happen to get in that situation all right let's go through skill tree and uh, that'll be about it uh, all right so I'm just gonna scroll through here and point out the ones you need to max out a lot of this stuff is very small percentages so you don't really need to mess with it individuals that's optional if you have uh, extra skill points that's not really gonna make a huge difference but if you do have extra skill points you might as well put it there uh, troop health, main one. Uh, individual health, so those play a little bit of a role. I mean, it's up to you if you have extra skill points. Enemy health debuff, that's a big one. Enemy attack debuff, that's a big one. March speed isn't really all that important, but if you want to hit it fast, that's, uh, that's a big thing. Especially if you're trying to beat a uh, core switch, like if they're sitting on it in prospectors or something trying to get you to hit them, and they're going to switch to cores, you can uh, hit them before they even switch. So that's pretty helpful. Your altar boosts are a big deal. You definitely want to max those out. Maybe not the defense one. That's up to you. But that that is a nice little boost if you do max it out. So uh, it's up to you if you want to do that or not. You should have plenty of skill points. Full set bonus. Most definitely Pegasus has a pretty nice little bonus. Troop health on a tile. You want to, you want to get that. I mean it's not a huge amount, but you're on a tile, and that's the uh, really only one that will benefit you on a tile, so definitely want to get that. Uh, troop attack, you definitely want to get that. You don't want to do defenses. I mean, some people do it, 
but those are the ones that usually lose their hero because defense on low troop numbers does not work too well especially if it's the tier 4 or tier 5 troop they don't cooperate with defense because they're such small numbers uh, troop health definitely want to get that one troop attack on tile offense you want to get that one uh, enemy defense debuff if you guys have extra skill points left over after you max all the main ones you could do that that's a thousand percent so if somebody does march on you that has a lot of defense yeah, that would help uh, be able to take their hero. Uh, prison bonus multiplier, that gives you a lot of attack. That would be a good one to do. Troop attack 3. Uh, again, you want to skip the defense if you can. Uh, troop health 4. You want to, um, Yeah, you want to get that one. Uh, the defense one, it's not going to help you because it's versus empire. That means it does not work on a tile. It does not work on a wonder. It only works if you hit an empire. Troop attack 4, you want to get that one, and uh, that's about it for setting up your skill tree for a tile. Battle mark attack, I'm not sure if that counts towards uh, somebody hit on a tile, I'm not sure if that works out. But if it does, that you might want to do that, and if you mark them you get a 100% bonus. I mean, I'm not sure if that works or not, you don't really need it, but it's 100% more if you want to try that. I'm not sure if it makes a difference. Have to test that one. Alright, so uh, skill tree wise, that, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, there's a few things you can substitute in and out to change it up a little bit for certain targets, but uh, that, that's pretty much it for holding a tile. Alright, troop wise, what you want to send. Alright, let's look at March presets here and show you guys. Uh, Alright. Alright. Now, regulars seem to work best on tiles just because they got that defensive bonus and all that. But here lately, since they release wilds and strategics and all that, it's best to send a mix of all nine if you have them. I, I think the numbers are like 10 to 15 percent each, something like that. I, f I forget the math on that. I think it's 10 percent each and then. Two of them have to, uh, well, yeah, it's going to be like 10% 10, 10 each, 10, 12% each. Anyways, let's go. Um, so regulars, if you're going to set up one of these, just 33, 33, 34, and then uh, you want to set up another preset for your strategics and a mix of regulars if you want to throw it in there. I mean, you can set up multiple of them. For, uh, each type you want to do like if you want to do a mix of regulars and strategics if you want to do a mix of regulars and wilds or wilds and strategics or uh, just all three of each um, it's up to you how you want to do that but just a mix of uh, regulars and strategics is pretty good a mix of regulars only works in some cases as long as they're not all strategics on there a uh, mix of all nine works the best if you have that, um, a lot of people don't have that yet, but if you can, a mix of all nine is probably your best bet for uh, holding a tile, which I forget which preset it is. It's, yeah, it's this one. Continue. Nope. <laughs> okay, well, I forgot which preset it is. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, troop-wise, you just want to send a mix that works the best for uh, tiles. Uh, banners you want to use warden health uh, health banner some people like to mix it up with the power up banner I mean health works better than uh, the attack does so that's that's why that one's there I mean it's up to you if you want to use that or the power up banner I mean, this one works better for a tile uh, potions I mean attack and health uh, is pretty much the choice you want to go for I mean, this one works pretty good. The new one, um, the set bonus type one that you can build and it'll give you a lot of attack and uh, debuffs. So, if you guys don't have this one, you can just build a custom attack and health one with some debuffs thrown in there. That'll work just fine for potions. Uh, this building, if you guys can upgrade it, I mean, that one works pretty good. That'll give you a lot of attack and health, especially if you can max it out. That'll be pretty expensive, but... 
the small amount of levels you can get on this uh, will jump it up quite a bit. As you can see, it's quite a jump if you can at least get it to 10. It's 550% for both. So that will play a pretty big role, especially later on when everybody starts maxing it out. Uh, let's see. I think that's about it, guys. Yeah. Tile-wise, it's pretty simple. It's just uh, you got to have it set up right. So attack, health, debuffs, main things you want to go after. Research is, is especially plays a huge role. If you guys are lower in research, it's not going to be as uh, effective. But if you guys are high in research uh, and your stats look similar to this, you guys will uh, be fine on the tile. And uh, if you do the troops like that and do your skill tree and everything like that, you should be uh, fine to uh, take some heroes and uh, beat some bigger guys. All right. Hopefully, I can uh, do a video on holding a towel. I mean, I did a little bit during the kill event. I mean, it was kind of hard to video that because I was just jumping around and immediately hitting. There wasn't really any time to uh, stop and start recording and all that. It was just split second stuff. So, yeah, hopefully, I can get one of them and show you guys how this works in in action. So. Yeah, thanks for watching the video guys, and I will uh, work on getting some more tile stuff out for you guys that wanted to see tile stuff. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.